Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and a bonus weekend video. I don't always get weekend videos up, but I had three junk journals I personally completed uh, this week. And I thought I would do a flip through so I could just kind of show you where I got the different things and point out a lot of details. I don't always get to do that with the marketplace journals because I don't know where everything came from or the thought processes behind the journals. I can just kind of show them off. So when I make them, I like to point out more things because I know a lot of you, including me, I like flip throughs where things are pointed out where I got them or where you could get them. So we're going to start off with um, this journal has a pink tie. I've already untied it. This is just a five and a half by eight and a half cardstock journal with a gorgeous collage on the front. Vintage rose paper from the 50s. I actually have some of this for sale in my supply section, but I took some of it and I embossed it and inked it. I have fabric pieces, modeling paste, ephemera, stickers, paper, all collaged up to make this gorgeous cover. This is just a floral pink purple random type journal. So I have used um, Wings of Prayer, I have a postcard. I've sprayed the background here with pink and yellow. Joanne made this. This is one of my button labeled botanicals and she made a little bookmark. I have different pages. These are my rose quotes paper. Um, TLC creates vintage digital collage club fairies. I've done more collaging. That's more of that vintage paper. Joanne um, made this and I turned it into a tuck spot for this little grape playing card. This is Digital Collage Club as well. I made a little pocket here from that vintage paper. I got this in Happy Mail. Love these little lace snippets. And then vintage uh, book page. And this is Little Yellow Blooms. There's a whole uh, print sheet, easy print sheet of these in Vintage Image Club. You can join all my clubs over in the huge sales section of my website. Vintage children's book pages. Um little happy mail pocket and then this is from atomic junk journals on etsy i just backed it with some paper there's a label you can write on this is from seneca pond crafts on etsy i've done stenciling i've added some purple hearts this is in my dreams um journal kit that i have one of the first journal kits i made in one of the background pages for that kit this is a flower postcard some coffee dyed paper um, this is from Vintage Image Club. It's from the Sunflower Collection. And then this is, I think this is Carolyn's Craft Tree. It's one of her envelopes. Just put it in there. Done spraying and then stamping. These are Stampin' Up! stamps that I got at a yard sale. Victoria Designs. In My Dreams. Seneca Pond. I've done a little wallpaper pocket and then there's a tag and then Handmade by Lindsay Zanor. Just a little business card thing I have, um, wallpaper, an altered playing card, or not playing card, but flash card, vintage book paper. This is also from that Sunflower in Vintage Image Club. Um, this is an altered Project Life card, and then a Tea Party playing card. Joanne made this. I just added a Tim Holtz uh, saying on that. I, th I think I added that. Maybe she added it. I don't remember. We have a canceled stamp and a die cut. This is from an Artie Mays paper. We've got washi tape on the edge. That's a sticker. That's from my sun the Sunflowers on Vintage Image Club as well. This is from that Antiquarian sticker book that you can buy on Amazon or Target. It's one of those stickers. Again, Wings of Prayer and then another Sunflower image from Vintage Image Club. So this is for sale in the Handmade by Lindsay section. I have two more to show you today. The next one is a mushroom journal that I completed using my Forest Gems journal kit. And this is a wallpaper and cereal box cover. The wallpaper I got in a swap from Angela. I've been using the wallpaper she sent. It's beautiful. This is um, ephemera from my kit, Forest Gems. And then that is a My Porch Prince saying, I think that's a My Porch Prince. It's either My Porch Prince or Atomic Junk Journals. I think it's My, my Porch Prince. On the inside, I've collaged up different papers. I used my scan and cut to cut out a sheet of mushrooms from Graphics Fairy. And then I wrote little sayings throughout. Enjoy the quiet beauty of the woods. I've also added little hearts throughout, so you'll see those. This is from Forest Gems. Follow the solitude. This is hand-painted paper that's yellow that I did. There are new beginnings around every corner. The little ephemera pieces. This is a digital curio page. Make time every day for silence. Another scan and cut mushroom. Tracy Fox pocket. 
um, a Tracy Fox journal card. And this is from Atomic Junk Journals. This is Mushrooms of the World. And I've just done some stamping inside so that you could write. This is a pocket. Um, it has a nature quote from Aristotle, and I wrote Moonlight on the mushroom. This is a retired set of journal cards that I had. So if you have the Ultimate Lifetime Collection, then these will be in there. This is one of my pages, journal pages, that I have just shrunk down and decorated. And a Victoria Designs from their new bug pack. I just die cut a lacy heart out of it. Some ephemera. Find a quiet spot to read and write. I've just added hearts everywhere. Vintage nature pages. A little collaging. I wrote forest lore, added three hearts. All things grow with love. There is a little wallpaper piece here, and then this is a journal card from Forest Gems. I've added um, more of the scan and cut mushrooms. This is from Atomic Junk Journals. Stamping, live in nature. This is Sari Silk. This is from Atomic Junk Journals as well, and a little scan and cut mushroom. Added hearts on there. It's from Forest Gems. My Nature Notes. This lace paper is also from Digital Curio. Embark. This is also from Atomic Junk Journals. Nature Shade. Peaceful Moments. Made a little tag. The Rustling of the Wind in the Leaves. It's more of that yellow paper. And then I have collaged and signed the back cover. So that one's also available. If you love that grungy nature, I just love the way the colors came out on this one. I have one more journal to share with you, and I'm quite proud of the cover. Collage techniques have been a struggle for me, and I love every time I make progress. So I love the way this cover came out. This is a textured um, cardstock. I believe that I got this um, in some happy mail from Vicki. She called it her ugly paper. I call it um, potential. <laughs> so I made a journal cover. I rounded the corners of the cover, but not of the pages inside. Oh, getting a knock on the door. So this is a nature theme. Um, this is a Victoria Designs image. And then I've layered uh, cardstock, coffee dyed paper, and fabric. I got this fabric in some Happy Mail. Sorry, silk. Oh, a canceled owl stamp and then a beaded safety pin that's glued on. I've added eyelets and this green like jute twine for the closure. Here we are inside. Um, a little sunflower. This is from Vintage Image Club. I have a little stamp, a vintage 1965 stamp bag, Belgian bag, and I've put two fussy cut butterflies in there. This is from Blooming African Violets. Ghosted Butterflies, Happy Mail Cluster, um, just different papers, don't even remember where I printed this from, but washi tape and stenciling, this is vintage embossed paper. This is from my Modern Maiden Image Club, but it's a disaster because this is two different bright papers printed on top of each other. If you remember me saying I'm having trouble with my laser printer printing double-sided. So this is crazy. It's a hummingbird paper and a butterfly paper printed on top of each other, but yet it's so bright and crazy. I had to leave it in here anyway. Uh, these little butterfly like tea cards, these are from Caroline's Craft Tree on Etsy. This is my ink saver, Morris Digital. So the background's white. It doesn't take a lot of ink to print it on the page. Um, back here, I think I, I may have double printed this back here too. That's from Modern Maiden. So Yvette, Yvette made me this little tuck spot. And she um, is one of my suppliers. But I took one of these. It's hand sewn. I turned it into a tuck spot. And then just a little uh, book page journal card and a uh, glitter page die cut. This is Seneca Pond Crafts. This is Modern Maiden. So Modern Maiden Image Club is more modern images, journal cards, papers for your journals. And it is only a one-time fee right now, $15 lifetime. You get everything I add. I try to add 10 images a week. Um, there's so much in there. Yellow paper, a little sweet playing card. This is Ghosted Butterflies. This is TLC Creates Vintage. This is just a fun, bright background I got from Creative Fabrica. 
a little bag with a sticker and some stenciling. This is Joanne's Spring Days. It's one of her new paper packs. It is beautiful. Um, so I've added that. This is a journal card from my mushroom kit, but it's it's larger. It's meant for like the cover of a journal. So I used it here. This is Modern Made in Image Club, and I just wrote, what a beautiful life. This is Modern Made in Image Club too, and it's Golden Berries. So if you have not joined yet, there's so much on there, and it goes so well with everything. And then I started adding little pretty flower stickers. Um, I don't even remember where that's from. It's pretty. <laughs> Embrace today. There's a washi butterfly. This is also from Modern Maiden and it says only one life to live. I wrote that, that in with pen. This is from Modern Maiden and this is one of the ink saver pages on there. This is from Modern Maiden as well and I added that glittered die cut. This is the other side from the Modern Maiden this too. I think this is from Antique Papery, but I could be wrong. I made a collaged tag. That's the other side to Joanne's paper. Cute little stickers. This is the other side to that bag. This is from the, I think this is from my sunflowers on Vintage Image Club. Happiness and friendship. Those are words from my porch prints. I wrote Pursue Peace. Just some background pages, some stenciling. I got this ribbon in Happy Mail and I added a button, some cute little stickers. And then this was interesting. So this is a Hobby Lobby stamp and I love it. It's like these, these wheat uh, cluster, whatever you call it. <laughs> but instead of using stamp, I used the Tim Holtz Distress Stain on the stamp and it gave it this watercolored effect and then I signed it. So I hope that these are something that inspired you and maybe you're interested in purchasing, but either way, I hope you came away with a little bit of inspiration and maybe you'll visit a couple of those Etsy shops that I mentioned and purchase one or two kits. I know that it would be a great encouragement to them as well. Thank you so much for watching, for your kind attention, and I will see all of you next week with more goodness.